Welcome to Taiwan Brief, a deeper dive into issues impacting Taiwan. I'm Donovan Smith in Taichung, Taiwan. All right, this coming report here is based loosely on a Taiwan News article I wrote, Chen Shizhong puzzles press over Taipei Mayor Run, Lin grins and ducks. But as always, I've thrown in some more insights and things that didn't make it to the article. This year's local elections are on the horizon, and current Taipei Mayor Ke Wenzhe, the Taiwan People's Party, will be term limited out. The Taipei-based political writers, Taipei-based prognosticators, Taipei-based pollsters, and Taipei-based television talk shows are flooding the Taipei-based media with discussions on who will be the candidates for mayor of Kaohsiung. Of course they aren't. They are, as usual, obsessing on the Taipei mayoral race because their world end where the MRT don't run, if that far. Though none of the parties have formally nominated any candidates, the assumption is that Wayne Jiang Wanan will represent the KMT and Huang Shanshan, the Taiwan People's Party. But the Celestial Kingdom, or Tianlongbo-based media, are in a full feeding frenzy speculating on who will represent the DPP. Since the Taipei media dominates the national landscape with Taipei Scope Vision, trademark, it isn't surprising that three of the four directly elected presidents used their positions as Taipei mayor as their jump-off point. And two of the three previously directly elected mayors in the modern era went on to the presidency. Poor former mayor Hao Longbing must be crying in his imported baijiu. Whether those of us outside of Taipei like it or not, whoever wins as Taipei mayor is going to be foisted upon us as a national figure and will likely be of major importance to Taiwan's future. However, Hao was waterlooed in Jilong and a disastrous Camp T race all but exiled him to Taipei Island politically. So who will be the DPP's standard bearer in Taipei? Now, media speculation and pollsters have all been focusing on two potential candidates, though a third just entered the picture. But for now, let's start with these two. Minister of Health and Welfare and concurrently head of the Central Epidemic Command Center, Chen Shizhong, and former Transport Minister and Taichung Mayor Lin Jialong. There does remain a possibility that the party could choose someone else, perhaps as a compromise to cool political tensions within the factions, but no third candidate has attracted much press attention until just after I wrote this article. Chen is being cryptic on whether he plans to run or not, perhaps for his own amusement at watching the press go into conniptions at his every utterance on the subject. In response to former Vice President Anat Yu Xiolians, commenting that he should resign if he intends to run, he responded, quote, If I am able to run, I will definitely resign. Then he went on to make more contradictory comments, which even seemed to include his nodding in affirmation as if he were running. But meanwhile, his mouth was sending mixed signals. Are you confused? Well, everyone is, including the local media, so it's not just me. He has since added, in the short term, I'm not considering it, referencing the pandemic. Considering time is running out for the DPP to choose their candidate, what does that mean? Well, clearly it is still on his mind if he's saying, I'm not considering running it in the short term. And much depends on what the definition of short term is in his mind. So clearly this is still being considered. He's not ruling it out completely, but we'll see. Now, in spite of the appearance of Chen being a technocratic choice for his multiple positions, he is, in fact, very much a political appointee. Originally a dentist by training, he's been involved in DPP politics for years and is known for bringing in 200 dentists into the party while he was chair of the Taiwan Dental Association when Chen Shui-bian was elected president and was even on the DPP party list of legislative candidates in 2004, though ranked Far down on the ranked too far down on the list to actually have had much chance of becoming a lawmaker. Since the pandemic hit, Chen has been the public face of the administration's efforts to battle the coronavirus. 
Though he has his detractors, most of the public credits him with making Taiwan one of the world's best in handling the pandemic. Chen as a candidate is a mixed bag. In his favor is the widespread trust he has earned among the public, a reputation for dedication and hard work, and no scandals or skeletons in his past that have come to light so far. Taiwan also has a particular penchant for electing people from the medical profession, including the current vice president, the previous vice president, the current Taipei mayor, and even the winner of the Taichung 2 by-election earlier this year. On the other hand, he is as charismatic and warm as a tray of dentist tools. He speaks in a droning monotone, and in spite of being a member of our species, there appears to be no photogenic evidence of a capacity for a warm smile. If you try Googling Chen Shizhong, the best that comes up are some self-satisfied half-smiles. Now, Lin Jialong, by contrast, is all grins. He is warm, enthusiastic, likable, and engaging, if at times coming across a bit lacking in substance, which, by the way, is something that I can confirm from meeting him multiple times personally. But like Chen hasn't given much of a clear answer on whether he intends to run, vaguely punting the question back to the party decision-making process, at least formally. However, he has finally come out and said he's not going to run for Taichung mayor. He's also said that the DPP hasn't seriously chosen a candidate for Taipei mayor in 24 years obviously referring to former Taipei Mayor Chen shui This, however, is a serious slap at the DPP leadership who chose the candidates and Premier Su Zhenzhang, who might take issue with his statement considering he ran for Taipei Mayor in 2010. Like Chen Shizhong, he's a mixed bag as a potential candidate. His engagement in politics started as a student activist in the 1980s, showing considerable courage against authoritarianism and his charismatic ability to motivate people has been evident ever since. On the other hand, he has a serious problem with trains, specifically with disasters and death related to them. Early in his term as Taichung mayor, there was a collapse during the construction of the MRT line that left four dead and the most recent train disaster last April that left 51 dead which led to his resignation as transport minister. How much responsibility was his in either of those cases is debatable, but he would be hit hard with them during any political campaign he may want to undertake. He also doesn't have a great record at the ballot box, including having failed to win re-election as Taito mayor after one term. In spite of the fact that opinion polling at the time suggested most Taichung residents assumed he would win re-election, even in polls that showed more support for Liu Liu Shouyan. However, the 2018 Han wave swept him out. He also remains a potential candidate for Taichung mayor, but now he's denying that. When he lost in 2018, he pledged to keep his residents registered there and establish a non-profit foundation in the city. So I guess he's not coming home. In terms of polling, both trail presumptive KMT candidate Wayne Chiang, with Chen trailing by 6% in a three-way matchup and Lin by 11, according to a recent ET Today poll. Reportedly, however, they are evenly matched in internal TPP polling, but of course, none of us have actually seen that polling. This has just been something we've been reported on. However, and I've alluded to this earlier, there is a dark horse in all of this. Former Vice President Chen Zhenren, who quietly joined the DPP two months ago at President Tsai's urging. He's also from the medical profession, and as I noted, there's a penchant here for electing people from that profession. And a recent poll actually showed him with a slightly more support than Chen Shizhong, though only barely, with just over 1%. If there is any indication he actually has any interest in the post, I'll update you more on him, but so far there isn't any. He's kind of a keep in the background kind of figure. He's fairly old and he stepped down as vice president when Tsai Ing-wen ran for a second term. He doesn't seem to have much ambition, but we'll, we'll see. 
Now, another complicating factor in choosing the mayoral candidate is internal DPP politics. Chen apparently has the support of the Taing Wen faction, Ying Xi, in the party. Lin has the backing of the pithily named Taiwan Normal Country Promotion Association, or TNCPA, which in Chinese is normally called the Zhongguo Hui, which is a little more pithy. But the biggest faction, New Tide, or Xin Chao Liu, reportedly may prefer Chen take on Hou Yui in the New Taipei mayoral race up there. Good luck with that. During Tsai Ing-wen's reign as DPP chair, she has done a remarkable job at keeping the factions fairly quiet by carefully apportioning positions to keep their relative power in balance. But with her presidency and presumably her time as party chair heading towards a lame duck period, the factions appear to be jockeying once again for supremacy in advance of the post Tsai era. Now, interestingly, after I wrote this, there was a slew of articles that came out the local media, basically this same point. So there's a lot of interest right now, once again, and some of the headlines referred to things like one do, which is basically chaotic infighting. I wouldn't go anywhere near as to say that that's exactly the case yet. But there is definitely a big uptick in activity in the DPP factions and in fighting among them. Mostly right now, we're talking about city council seats, which is not on the high level, but that's there. And definitely this is something you're going to probably be hearing more from me about in upcoming shows. How much the factions will factor in the choice of candidate is hard to say. But the TNCPA in particular has recently been growing more aggressive in their moves against the King faction. All right, tune in for some more shows. We've got some more coming up pretty soon. And of course, be sure to tune in next time and, you know, hit all those likes and subscribe buttons and all that fun stuff. All right, until next time, I'm Donovan Smith in Taichung. This has been brought to you by the Taiwan Report. For more content like this, become our patron at report.tw. 哎呦，就是那个台湾狗啦，最喜欢我的台湾狗了。